आर यू टायर्ड ऑफ स्लगिश सिस्टम्स एंड आउटडेटेड सॉफ्टवेयर इमेजिन एलिनिक्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दैट्स नॉट जस्ट स्टेबल बट ऑल्सो पैक विद द लेटेस्ट एडवांसमेंट्स टुडे वी आर डाइविंग डीप इन टू डिबियन थर्टीन ट्रैक्सी शो केसिंग हाउ इट्स ब्रांड न्यू फीचर्स एंड परफॉर्मेंस इंप्रूवमेंट्स कैन रेवल्यूशनाइज योर कंप्यूटिंग एक्सपीरियंस and solve those common frustrations what if the next major leap in linux was already here silently redefining stability and power forget everything you thought you knew about traditional operating systems in this video we are unearthing the hidden gems and groundbreaking changes within debian 13 trixie prepare to be surprised by what the release truly offers welcome to Trixie first impressions and installation hello everyone and welcome to this deep dive into debian 13 code named trixie after the beloved character from toy story released just a couple of days ago on august 9th 2025 this version marks a significant milestone in the debian's project ongoing commitment to reliability and innovation Why does Trixie matter right now? Well, after two years of development since Debian 12 Bookworm, it brings fresh hardware support, updated tools, and enhancements that make it ideal for both new users and Linux enthusiasts. In a world where hardware like RISC-V is gaining traction, so let's jump into the installation process. I performed a fresh install on a standard PC and it was a remarkable smooth. The Debian installer has seen improvements including better support for speech synthesis during setup for accessibility and initial handling for rescuing systems installed on BTRFS sub volumes. You can boot from a USB drive or net install image. HTTP boot is now supported for network installations which is great for large scale deployments the process took about 20 to 30 minutes depending on your hardware and internet speed no major hiccups it detected my hardware flawlessly including wifi and graphics once installed the first boot greets you with the default gnome 48 desktop environment which feels modern and responsive The initial tour reveals a clean interface with updated themes, the winning artwork set option adds a fresh artistic touch. Right away you will notice snappier animations and better multi-monitor support. If GNOME isn't your thing, you can easily switch to KDE Plasma 6.3 or XFCE 4.20 or LXQT 2.1 during installation. My first impression it's polished stable and ready for daily use without any immediate tweaks needed Now under the hood key features upgrades Now let's peel back the layer and explore what's powering Trixie As its core is the Linux kernel 6.12 LTS a big jump from 6.1 in Debian 12 This brings enhanced hardware compatibility including better support for Intel XE2 and AMD RDNA 4 graphics. Real time primed RT for low latency tasks. And the EEVDF scheduler for improved multitasking efficiency. If you are on a newer hardware like Apple Silicon M1 or M2, expect better keyboard and secure boot integration. The software repositories have been overhauled with over 69830 packages total 14116 new ones and 44326 updated and 8840 removed for option sense core applications shine python 3.13 for fast scripting gcc 14.2 as the default compiler for optimized code library of is 25.2 for productivity and tools like gimp 3.0.4 and inkscape 1.4 for creatives 
developers will appreciate updated stacks which are rust 1.85 open gdk 21 and php 8.4 apt 3.0 introduces a new solver for smarter package handling and the system d257 refines boot processes with features like tmpfs or tmp by default speeding up temporary file operations architectural changes are noteworthy too official risk cv64 support means debian now runs natively on 64 bit risk v hardware opening doors for embedded and emerging tech on the flip side mips architecture are gone armel is upgraded only no new installs and i386 is demoted to partial multi arch support for legacy 32 bit apps on amd64 systems now performance and stability benchmarks and real world usage performance is where trixy really impresses in benchmarks on an amd epyc server it showed a 13% average improvement over debian 12 across 130 tests thanks to the newer kernel compiler and package updates tasks like open ssl encryption and ffmpeg video encoding saw gains up to 20% in some cases resource usage is efficient my test system idled at under 2 gb ram with gnome running in real world scenarios trixy handles daily workflows effortlessly web browsing with firefox esr is smooth even with multiple tabs for development compiling code felt quicker and running virtual machines via kvm showed no lag i tested it as a daily driver for a week email coding in vs code and light gaming via proton all stable extended use revealed minimal quirks one minor regression was noted in some rabbit mq setups during upgrades but that's easy mitigated with clean shutdowns overall it's a rock solid as debian's reputation suggests with no crashes or unexpected behavior now security and privacy trixis enhanced defenses security is a cornerstone of debian and trixi fortifies it further new hardening measures protect against rop and cop or jop exploits on amd64 via intel cat and arm64 via pack or bti most architectures now use 64 bit time t to avoid the y2k38 issue in 2038 open ssh drops dac key support for modern cryptography and encrypted file systems require the system d crypto setup package for seamless integration privacy improvements include better default settings for data handling tmp on tmpfs reduces persistent traces and enhanced user controls in desktop environments spell checking in qt web engine browsers uses new .bdict dictionaries from unspell adding language support without extra hassle for updates expect 5 years of support 3 years full until 2028 then 2 years lts until 2030 security patches roll out promptly via the debian security team ensuring long term viability for servers and desktop alike so who should upgrade final verdict and community outlook so who benefits most from trixy server admins will love the stability and risk free support for edge computing developers get modern tools without breaking changes home users appreciate the refined desktops and performance boosts If you're on older hardware like i386 do consider retiring it or switching to amd64 upgrading from debian 12 it's straightforward with apt 
backup first, remove backports, and follow the release notes for potential gotchas like ensuring boot space or handling interrupted remote upgrades. Test in a VM if possible. In the broader open source landscape, Trixi strengthens Debian's role as a universal operating system, influencing distros like Ubuntu. Community buzz is positive. Users on platforms like X are excited about the kernel and RiskV, calling it a worthy successor with a rock solid performance. As one user noted, Debian's just works, no drama. Now, Final verdict. If stability and cutting edge balance are your priorities, upgrade to Trixie today. It's not revolutionary, but it's evolutionary perfection. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share your Trixie experience in the comments. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.